Stoicism isn't just for masculine men. It's a philosophy with universal appeal, offering invaluable wisdom for women as well. Today, let's unravel the common misconception that Stoicism is exclusively designed for men. Contrary to this belief, Stoicism's universal appeal and applicability extend beyond gender boundaries. In fact, it holds invaluable wisdom for women, offering tools for self-empowerment and a fulfilling life. Join us as we explore seven powerful reasons why Stoicism is a vital philosophy for women. Lesson number one, balancing emotional labor. Balancing emotional labor a task often disproportionately shouldered by women, presents a unique challenge in both personal and professional realms. Stoicism, with its focus on understanding and managing emotions, offers insightful strategies to navigate this complex aspect of life. Consider a scenario where a woman finds herself in the midst of managing family dynamics while also facing professional pressures. Her role often extends beyond physical tasks, delving into the realm of emotional support. From being an empathetic listener to her family to maintaining composure in a high-stress workplace, this constant emotional navigation can be draining, yet stoicism provides a guiding light. The stoic philosophy, emphasizing control over our reactions and thoughts rather than external events, becomes a vital tool. This approach is exemplified in Seneca's wisdom. The greatest remedy for anger is delay. By adopting this principle, she learns to pause and process her emotions before reacting, whether in a tense family situation or a challenging workplace scenario. This stoic practice leads to a transformative shift in managing emotional labor. She becomes more adept at discerning where her emotional involvement is truly needed and where it might be more beneficial to step back. It's not about becoming emotionally detached, but rather about being selective and intentional with her emotional engagements. Moreover, Stoicism teaches the importance of self-care and establishing personal boundaries. Recognizing the need to care for her own emotional well-being, she finds value in dedicating time to activities that rejuvenate her spirit, be it through solitary hobbies, physical exercise, or simply moments of quiet reflection. This self-care is not a luxury, but a necessity for maintaining her emotional equilibrium. In her professional life, stoic principles help in cultivating a sense of equanimity amid workplace stress. By not reacting impulsively to stressful situations or difficult colleagues, she not only preserves her emotional energy, but also fosters more harmonious interactions at work. Through stoicism, she discovers a sustainable approach to handling the complex emotional demands in her life. It teaches the art of emotional economy, investing emotional energy wisely and with purpose. This newfound strategy not only aids in managing her multifaceted roles, but also brings a sense of balance and fulfillment. Stoicism thus transforms from an ancient philosophy to a contemporary tool invaluable for women navigating the intricate landscape of emotional labor. Lesson number two. Navigating Societal Expectations Navigating societal expectations is often like walking a tightrope, especially for women who are frequently faced with a myriad of predefined roles and standards. Stoicism, a philosophy grounded in understanding what is within our control and what is not, offers a profound way to navigate these waters. Consider the experience of a young woman, Maria, who's a budding entrepreneur. She lives in a community where most of her peers are following more traditional career paths or personal lives. Questions like, when will you settle down? Or why not a regular job? Are part of her daily interactions. The societal expectation for a woman to choose a conventional path is palpable. 
In the midst of these external pressures, Stoicism becomes Maria's anchor. Epictetus's words resonate deeply with her. We have the power over our mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This stoic wisdom empowers Maria to differentiate between the community's expectations and her own aspirations. She understands that while she cannot control the opinions and questions of others, she has complete authority over how she perceives and reacts to them. This realization is liberating. Maria begins to see these societal pressures not as barriers, but as external noise that she can choose to tune out. She focuses on her entrepreneurial goals, channeling her energy into her passions and work, rather than expending it on worrying about fitting into a traditional mold. Her journey is not about defiance for the sake of it, but about staying true to her own values and vision. Moreover, Stoicism helps her approach these societal expectations with a sense of equanimity. Instead of feeling frustration or resentment towards those who do not understand her path, she cultivates understanding and patience. She recognizes that these expectations are often rooted in cultural norms and not personal judgments. Through Stoicism, she finds the strength to forge her own path, one that is aligned with her values and aspirations. She learns the art of internal validation, valuing her self-worth and achievements based on her standards, not society's. This shift in perspective doesn't just aid her in dealing with external pressures, but also brings a profound sense of peace and confidence in her choices. In essence, Stoicism offers a powerful tool for women like Maria to navigate societal expectations. It teaches the importance of focusing on what is within one's control, their thoughts, actions and reactions, and letting go of the need to conform to external pressures. This lesson is not just about resilience. It's about empowerment and the freedom to live life on one's own terms. Lesson number three. Embracing Authentic Leadership Embracing authentic leadership as a woman often involves charting a course through a sea of stereotypes and rigid expectations. Stoicism, with its focus on virtue, integrity and self-awareness, serves as a reliable compass in this journey, guiding women towards a leadership style that resonates with their true selves. Stoic teachings, particularly those from Epictetus who stated, first say to yourself what you would be and then do what you have to do, underscore the importance of self-awareness in leadership. This philosophy empowers women leaders to introspect and identify their core values and strengths. It's not about mirroring traditional leadership archetypes, often characterized by aggression or domineering tactics. Instead, it's about cultivating a leadership style that aligns with one's authentic self, whether that's rooted in empathy, collaborative spirit, or innovative thinking. Picture a woman at the helm of a project team feeling the pressure to exhibit a certain type of leadership to assert her authority. Stoicism nudges her towards a different path, one where she leads not by mimicking others, but by harnessing her innate qualities. This could mean leading through empathy and understanding building a team culture that values each member's input, or approaching problems with a calm, strategic mindset. Such an approach not only bolsters her leadership, but also garners genuine respect and loyalty from her team. Stoicism's influence in leadership extends to handling challenges and criticism, situations where women often face heightened scrutiny. The philosophy encourages a balanced response, neither dismissing criticism outright nor accepting it without scrutiny. It invites a rational evaluation of feedback, distilling lessons where they exist and reinforcing one's commitment to their leadership vision. The stoic perspective of viewing leadership as a role of service and responsibility resonates deeply. 
It shifts the focus from power and control to stewardship and guidance, a view that often aligns with the inherent communal and nurturing instincts found in many women. This redefinition of leadership as a means to uplift others, foster team cohesion, and doctor collective success can be particularly empowering. Through the lens of Stoicism, leadership transcends beyond mere role fulfillment. It becomes an expression of one's deepest values and beliefs. It transforms into a force for impactful and meaningful influence, shaped by a clear understanding of one's virtues and a steadfast commitment to embodying them. For women leaders, Stoicism is not just a philosophy, but a practical guide to navigating the complex dynamics of leadership with grace, strength, and authenticity. Lesson number four, overcoming gender bias. Overcoming gender bias is a persistent challenge faced by many women, manifesting in various aspects of life from the workplace to personal relationships. Stoicism, with its principles of inner strength and focusing on what one can control, offers a potent approach to tackle this issue. In a world where gender bias often undercuts women's achievements and challenges their authority, Stoicism provides a grounding philosophy. It teaches the importance of looking inward for validation and strength rather than seeking it from external sources, which may be biased. This Stoic principle is vividly reflected in the words of Marcus Aurelius. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself and your way of thinking. This perspective empowers women to find resilience within themselves, irrespective of external judgments or biases. Consider a woman in a leadership role frequently encountering subtle or overt doubts about her capabilities purely based on her gender. Stoicism equips her with the mental tools to navigate this. Instead of internalizing these biases or letting them dictate her self-worth, she learns to anchor her confidence in her competence and values. She understands that she cannot control others' prejudices, but she can control her response to them. This stoic approach fosters a sense of self-assuredness rooted in one's own beliefs and abilities. It enables women to challenge gender bias, not through direct confrontation necessarily, but through the quiet strength of their actions and unwavering belief in their capabilities. By focusing on what is within her control, her actions, decisions and self-perception, she sets a standard of excellence that stands resilient against biased perceptions. Moreover, Stoicism teaches the importance of rational thinking and objective judgment, which can be instrumental in deconstructing gender biases. By approaching situations with a Stoic mindset, women can dissect and understand the underlying reasons behind biases and address them with calmness and clarity. This not only helps in personal growth, but also paves the way for creating more equitable environments, be it in the workplace or social settings. Stoicism also encourages women to view challenges, including gender bias, as opportunities for personal growth and character building. Instead of viewing bias as a barrier, Stoicism suggests viewing it as a test of one's virtues, resilience, courage and integrity. This shift in perspective transforms the way women interact with and overcome gender bias, turning it into a catalyst for personal empowerment and societal change. Through Stoicism, women learn that their power lies not in changing others' biases, but in strengthening their inner fortitude, in honing their ability to respond with wisdom and integrity. It's a philosophy that doesn't just help in overcoming gender bias, but also in fostering a profound sense of self-reliance and confidence. Stoicism, therefore, becomes not just a philosophical guide, but a practical toolkit for women navigating the complex realities of gender bias in their daily lives. Lesson number five, embracing amor fati in adversity. Embracing amor fati in adversity is an essential stoic practice, particularly vital for women confronting unique challenges. 
This lesson focuses on the Stoic concept of Amor Fati, which translates to love of fate, encouraging an embrace of all aspects of life, including adversity, as necessary and enriching. The essence of Amor Fati is the acceptance and affection for everything that life brings. It's about seeing every challenge, setback or difficulty, not just as something to be tolerated, but as an opportunity to be welcomed. Women, often facing a range of personal and societal challenges, can find in this principle a way to transform their experiences into sources of strength. For instance, dealing with ingrained societal expectations or personal obstacles can be reframed through the lens of Amor Fati. Instead of perceiving these situations as unfair or burdensome, women can view them as essential parts of their life's journey, each with a valuable lesson to impart. This perspective transforms the approach to challenges from one of endurance to one of active embrace and learning. The practice of Amor Fati also involves recognizing that every experience, particularly the difficult ones, contributes to personal growth. It's an acknowledgement that adversity can forge resilience, wisdom and character in ways that unchallenged comfort cannot. By loving and accepting their fate, women can tap into a profound source of empowerment and self-development. Amor Fati also ties into the stoic belief in the interconnectedness of events. Every challenge a woman faces is part of a larger tapestry of her life. Understanding and embracing this interconnectedness can bring a deeper appreciation of life's complexities and a more harmonious approach to facing challenges. Embracing Amor Fati is not about passivity or resignation. It's an act of engagement with life in all its forms. It encourages women to greet every aspect of their existence with enthusiasm and to find joy and meaning in every experience, especially the challenging ones. By adopting the principle of Amor Fati, women can approach life with a renewed sense of purpose and resilience. It becomes a guiding philosophy, helping them navigate through life's ups and downs with grace and positivity, and turning each challenge into an opportunity for growth and empowerment. Lesson number six, asserting personal boundaries. Asserting personal boundaries, especially for women, often requires a delicate balance between maintaining one's own space and fulfilling various roles in both personal and professional spheres. Stoicism, focusing on what we can control, our actions, thoughts and responses, provides a solid foundation for establishing and upholding these boundaries. In the realm of Stoicism, there's a profound understanding that while we cannot control the actions or expectations of others, we have complete sovereignty over how we react to them. This insight aligns with Epictetus's teaching. We are disturbed, not by what happens to us, but by our thoughts about what happens. This philosophy becomes a powerful tool for a woman who faces constant demands on her time and energy, allowing her to recognize that her resources are hers to allocate as she sees fit. Consider a professional environment where a woman's boundaries are often tested, be it in the form of excessive workload, unrealistic deadlines, or even invasive questions. Stoicism empowers her to delineate these boundaries clearly. She learns to say no when demands exceed her capacity or infringe upon her personal time, not as an act of defiance, but as a necessary step to preserve her well-being and maintain her quality of work. This stoic practice goes beyond mere boundary setting. It's about shifting from a mindset of seeking external validation to trusting and valuing one's own judgment. This change is crucial for women who are often socialized to prioritize others' needs over their own. Stoicism encourages finding strength in autonomy, making decisions that resonate with personal values and well-being, even if they don't align with everyone else's expectations. Moreover, Stoicism emphasizes self-awareness, a key element in identifying one's own limits and effectively communicating them. 
This level of introspection allows a woman to understand her priorities and articulate her boundaries clearly, fostering mutual respect and understanding with those around her. In dealing with the challenges of boundary setting, Stoicism offers resilience. It teaches that sometimes enduring short-term discomfort is essential for long-term peace and well-being. A woman armed with this philosophy can assert her boundaries with the confidence that they are necessary for her mental and emotional health. Stoicism, therefore, becomes a practical and empowering tool for women. It's not about erecting walls, but about building a sense of self-respect and personal agency. It helps women navigate their lives with dignity, ensuring their needs and values are not overshadowed in the hustle of fulfilling various roles. Lesson number seven, practicing stoic reflection and self-awareness. Practicing stoic reflection and self-awareness is a key element of stoicism, particularly relevant for women striving to find fulfillment in their unique life paths. This lesson draws from stoic practices of self-reflection and self-awareness, emphasizing the importance of internal exploration to achieve personal contentment and fulfillment. At the core of this lesson is the stoic exercise of reflective introspection. This practice involves regularly examining one's thoughts, actions and motivations. Women navigating various roles and societal pressures can use this method to gain clarity on their true desires, values, and goals. This kind of self-examination allows for a deeper understanding of what genuinely brings fulfillment and happiness beyond external expectations and societal norms. The Stoics also emphasize the concept of knowing oneself. For women, this means developing a keen awareness of their strengths, weaknesses, and core principles. It's about building a strong sense of self that is not easily swayed by external influences. This self-knowledge is crucial in making life choices that are aligned with one's true self, leading to a more authentic and fulfilling life. Another aspect of this lesson is the practice of Stoic Reserve Clause. It's about setting goals and working towards them while being open to outcomes that might differ from expectations. This approach helps in managing disappointments and finding contentment in various life scenarios. It teaches women to pursue their aspirations, but also to remain flexible and adaptable, finding fulfillment regardless of the outcome. The Stoic principle of focusing on the present is also integral to this lesson. Often, fulfillment can be hindered by dwelling on past regrets or future anxieties. Stoicism teaches the importance of living in the present moment, appreciating the here and now, and finding joy in current experiences. This present-focused mindset can lead to a more satisfying and contented life. By practicing stoic reflection and self-awareness, women can navigate their life paths with greater clarity and purpose. This stoic approach isn't just about achieving goals or meeting societal standards. It's about a deeper journey of self-discovery and alignment with one's true self. Embracing these stoic practices enables women to live authentically and contentedly making choices that resonate with their personal values and aspirations. It's a journey towards a fulfilling life, guided by self-knowledge, reflection, and a profound understanding of what brings true happiness and fulfillment. As we look back on today's learnings, we have to understand that this journey through Stoicism isn't just about understanding a philosophy. It's about rediscovering the strength within each of us, especially as women navigating a world of constant change and challenge. Now it's time for reflection and connection. In the comments below, share which lesson resonated with you the most or how Stoicism has empowered you in your daily life. Your stories and insights are not just inspiring to us. They are vital threads in the tapestry of our growing community. So don't wait. Click the join button, become a part of our stoic community, and let's embark on this journey of growth and empowerment together.
Remember, the strength of Stoicism isn't just in the lessons we learn. It's in the community we build together. We are stronger together. We are resilient together. We are Stoic. Stay strong. Stay Stoic. This is Motivation Today. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.